what's up what's up guys it's uh, been a while since i vlogged on the channel and uh, today i'm on my way to mondio guys now uh, why exactly are we on our way to mondio it's to visit another store guys because you guys have been asking us to visit more workshops and uh, i know we uh, we started the year off with a bang visiting quite a few workshops and um, things slow down a bit because obviously uh, I've got my job to do and uh, that's what pays the bills but um, today I've decided let's go and give Mr. Big Bite a visit not only because Mr. Big Bite was a winner at the German Verse Chap but also because Mr. Big Bite has a performance and detailing shop where they do quite a bit so if you guys want to see exactly what happens at uh, Big Bite performance please stay tuned guys So guys, as you can see, I'm out at uh, Big Bite Performance, um, Mr. Big Bite's business, and uh, you can see next to it, uh, Mrs. Big Bite's uh, Yalth and Beauty Bar. She's recently opened up a smoothie bar as well, but for now, the focus is on Mr. Big Bite and his detailing services. So let's go and have a look, guys. Hey, how's it, how's it? Yo, what's happening? What's happening, bro? You doing good? No, lovely, lovely, guys. Like a man. So excited, man. Yo, when I hear skid marks, I get happy too. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? No, but we look up to each other because I've been looking up to you. I started TikTok because I saw Mr. Big Bite there. I'm like, I, I can't ignore TikTok. You can't, man. You gotta put the tension, you know. Uh, just yesterday, a couple of guys came here. Well, every day people come to our shop and the first thing they say, yeah, we checked you here, we checked you. And I say, you know what? I'm just honored that people can come spend time with us. We're grateful. You know what I'm saying? So, um, for the audience who don't know you, I obviously, uh, I met you at... Um, an the, event in Zerist. Yes, yes, at the drag racing yes, event. I was eh? there dropping the sauce. The sauce. So, um, tell the people who you are. Who is Mr. Big Bite? Okay, guys. So, you know, Big Bite Performance. Mr. Big Bite is part of Big Bite Performance. Big Bite Performance being a brand... Uh, being a performance brand, so meaning we're building cars, we're doing uh, detailing. So I, I actually developed this whole thing from detailing, from cleaning cars. And when I started actually polishing cars from home and cleaning cars and washing wheels, and then that evolved to, hey, you know what, uh, maybe we should build a, a car. And I took out a 318 uh, box Beamer and I started building that car. And when I started building it, I started perfecting it, I actually flogged it. Took that money, bought another one. And then met up with uh, some ideas, pondered and said, you know what, we can grow this into something big because the passion for cars was big. The love and the, the, the well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm OCD. Let's just start there. I have a serious compulsive disorder uh, for cleanliness. So I can't deal with something being dirty. And I think that's how this whole thing just blew out of proportion. And then building cars. Building, I put the right team together, I got the right engineers, I got the right detailers, I got the right painters, and we're a family. Well, legit, one of them is my family. Well, at the end of the day, we're building. Check, the guys are laughing at me. But you know yeah, what? No, it is uh, a family business, because we see uh, Mrs. Big Bite is uh, next door. So, um, how did you guys come up with the name Big Bite? Where does it come from? Do you eat a lot, take Big Bites out of your food? <laughs> no, so, you know what? Um, Big Bite started as a marketing company in 2003, 2004, I started a marketing company and uh, I did a lot of advertising. I used to do Facebook marketing for a living and I had a successful media company and then COVID wiped me out, bro. COVID wiped me out. COVID not only wiped my business out, COVID wiped me. It took me into ICU and I was uh, there for like 30 days. Yeah, no, uh, I actually heard about that story on your, on your, um, one of your shorts you spoke right. about it what what actually happened for for those of us that don't know we just know you were in hospital but what affected you i was you? living my best life man i was playing golf 
I came home, I was hitting the, the, the tea and I was jogging and I came home, people were reflecting about COVID and you know, they were saying it was a hectic thing. COVID was bad. And um, I was healthy. I thought, hey, this thing ain't real or whatever. And then boom, I got that Delta virus. The next day I couldn't breathe. The third day I was in quarantine. Day four, I shut my company down. Day five, the whole, the, the whole city went gloomy. And day six, I couldn't breathe. Uh, day seven, my wife ordered me and said, listen, yeah, my, actually my buddy called me, Kent, and he said, if you don't go to hospital, I'm physically coming to drag you out of bed because I was stubborn and I was on oxygen and I was thinking I was fine. And then boom, once I got into hospital, they closed their doors. Once they closed their doors, your family stayed outside and I was inside. And 30 days later, I was in an incubator. So hospital um, to hospital. would you say that um, that was the start of your content creation career? Maybe you're right, but not actually, wait, a content creation career started in 2004. I always was Mr. Big Bite on Instagram. And those years, uh, Instagram was the thing. So you post your pictures, your lifestyle, what you do, clientele, etc. But content creation for me, yes, I think engagement creation. I managed to engage with the audience when I was in hospital. While I was in ICU, I would log on to my life. And on TikTok, I remember the people would come on and I would encourage them Yet I was the oak in the ICU unit. And um, I built a family. I made friends from TikTok. I actually have very good friends from TikTok today that come to our house, spend time with my family, that built a relationship from an online platform. So it's been, yeah, it's been an engagement model. That's what I think. And I think Instagram and my social media life has always been what it's been. I've always been this flamboyant, strong, passive character individual. Well, I got both, passive and strong. So um, you spoke earlier about your 318 that you flogged and then built another one. So um, that's it there. I call it, uh, its nickname is Rahuli. So the, the name of this guy is Rahuli. Okay, so that, Yeah. what color is that? So it's burnt orange. Okay. Slash tinsel gold. It, it, I never inherited the color. I inherited the car like that driving car. I just made it look the big bike fashion. And uh, yeah, that car didn't even last four weeks and it was gone. So um, obviously over there we can see you've got the source and uh, on the outside side it says that you are a pro detailer. So there are many facets to this business there. Uh, tell the audience what you guys do, what services do you offer? Straight up, pro detailing, number one detailing, cleaning and paint correction, polishing, ceramic coating, glossing up your car. Uh, it's been my number one go-to. But over the last two years, while you clean, while we're detailing a car, we found that things cannot be cleaned. You can wipe that seat a hundred times, you can put the best chemicals on the door card, you can do the rubbers, it will never be back to its original. So we then said, wait, how do we restore that? And we started restoring. So we're detailing, why are we pro-detailing? Because we're detailing with restoration. So a guy comes here and he says, my sunroof is a problem. We'll fix his sunroof and we'll clean his engine. While we did, if we see a panel beating issue, if your paint is scratched on your car, we'll repair it. We'll scratch. So we do panel beating, dent repair, scratch repair, uh, paint protection foam, uh, I would say detailing and restoration. That being our main thing. And then our side biscuit is custom car building. We build project cars. We take on about four projects a year that we can manage and we build and we try to see where to from there. So do those cars belong to you or those customer cars that you do those four projects with? They started off uh, with me. So I did the initial investment and then they were bought off. Okay. Customers made an offer to me and then they bought the cars. And then of course I rolled it. I took that and I bought another car and then I invested that into the next build and then it got bought. And then eventually now we're proud to say that the shop kind of owns this iconic car and this is yeah our baby so it's so, not owned uh, by a customer you guys had an opportunity to see this car at uh, german vs chap as you can see there number one now um, there was a lot of uh, drama around this car winning but, but i enjoyed i enjoyed the drama yeah it's it's any any um i never expected bro i never expect that type of childish behavior to happen because I was so open about this car. I and started... basically, 
you use your fans built built this car with you. They chose a lot of the stuff. Correct. So for people to turn around and say you copied somebody What's when wrong? when your fans actually chose the stuff for the car, it 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 definitely it wasn't Ayoba. It wasn't. It was it was hard here for the moment because I just won the trophy. I just came on Monday to work and we celebrated and the Tuesday I got this post online saying this is the deal uh, what you did and I was like uh, but chance like to all 187,000 followers on my account I mean everyone knew what we were doing we were building a Ferrari red car mm -hmm. we were building an OEM car this is an OEM car it's got a sunroof already it's different from every other car in its category it's a 92 model it's an MEX so that already stands out and um, they built the journey with me so it was never in we never used any of that uh, as an inspiration another thing that amazed me there's a picture in the back there of the workshop Brandon drew this car he drew it out literally he's an artist about one year ago am I right guys yeah. he drew it and he stuck it on our wall so where did he pull that out of his if you get on anyway but the also the, the other thing is that people don't understand that that show works on votes no okay good so point. you are a very well-known person everybody at that show knew who mr big bite is my niece who's 14 years old it's like she wants to see mr big bite's car so obviously if people are going to vote because you are popular people are gonna vote for you i I also felt that people voted with me because of my journey. Can I rather say that? Yeah. Uh, I had it on a screen. I showed them where we came from. So all my fans and everybody who loves the bull and loves Mr. Big Bite kind of voted for us because not we didn't build this car. We built a journeyed car. It came from Hogwarts to what it is now. It came from graveyard to what it is. This was a graveyard car. Some oaks looked at this body and they looked at the engine bay and they're like, never, no, it, this guy never built this from here. So people, when they came there, you know what the first thing they were saying? Everyone at German was jet. I probably had about over two to 3,000 people at my stand alone at any given time. I couldn't breathe. All they were saying was, wow, was that the car? Wow, was that the car? Wow. They didn't come here and say, hey, nice color. I enjoy your seats. No, they were like, was that the car? Did you build it? So I was happy because they knew the truth. Exactly. What is the car built for? So yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm excited and I'm proud and I wish every car built. I, you know, there's something I said on my documentary and I said it in conclusion to the story. I am far from being there. I'm far. I have got a many years and a lot of learning to be number one in a big event. I give credit to builders who've been there for 20 years, 30 years, more experience than me. I'm just grateful that we pulled out Lazarus, a car from the dead. That's all. So um, we, we, we had a look at the car at German vs. Chap. Obviously, for those of you who watched the video, you can see there it's a standard 325 M20 standard management system. Uh, the color has been changed. It's Ferrari red on the outside, although it still has the brilliant red sticker because uh, Warren wanted to keep that uh, part of the car. Right. Uh, the wheel over here, it's... Uh, so let's talk about this wheel, right? I, this wheel doesn't come with this high polish. It didn't come like this. This wheel didn't come with this heritage badge. So I actually had this wheel custom high polished several times to get it to look this glossy. They came out aluminium. And then your nuts, did you customize that to gold as well? The nuts did come like that from the, okay. from the look and feel. But most of them, you'll see, they don't have this hyper gloss. So I did that. And then I, I personally think this was amazing, right? Because this is the real size uh, heritage badge. It's from the, it's from the, the bonnet and the boot. Yes, it's yes. not for the wheel. We made it fit there. We thought it would look classic and look it may it, it is sounds it different yeah, and its consistency it's, so always was, looks good on all all the badges look the same i'm smiling about it because i was we were genuinely passionate about this the two things we did we knew we bought a red wheel we knew that everybody has this wheel but we said hey 
Okay, let's give it a good, good shine. What can we do to make it? And we made sure our wheel is scratch free, dent free, spotless. There's something we said we'll keep this wheel looking clean. And, and the tangier at the back, just for me, that deep dish briyani look there. Uh, I must give uh, Wheel Freaks credit because he helped me with a stretch foot. You see, this stretch foot, this foot on this wheel is, 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 is custom. So, what tie are you using to get it to tuck like that? So, this is a 195 stretch foot on this here. 195, if I can remember. I, I it was riding out, so I actually chowed up most of the tire. Uh, I can't even see there. 1740. Okay. One, and that's 215. So, 215s. Yeah, and they're Hockenheim tires, so they got this lacquer bubble look. Uh, it says stretch on it. It's a stretch foot. So you can't just put any tire on. You won't get this uh, this bulldog look. So the thread pattern and the look was done. And of course, Wheel Freaks, he, he banged it for me, man. So um, I see you on the back that um, you don't have the footment there. Did you intentionally do that? So you just have the tuck and not the footment. So even on that side, when you look, we... we we know what it takes to get this thing in right down. So I, so I take it you don't like stretch tires? No, I don't like the, the, to, to get it all the way down. I wanted to see a little bit of my tire. Okay. It was, it was our choice. And also, this is a poke. So this is not a uh, tuck. Yeah. So we wanted it to poke out. Okay. You intentionally. Want yeah, correct. The, the, the issue is to get the small gap here, ne? you have to do a little fabrication in there. Uh. On the... The, the fenders you know, and it's stuff. not actually the fender because we cut we actually cut in here to get it this low there's another thing to be done sure. in there i won't mention it because the guy sorry i'm a bit nasal oh uh, you know the flu is spreading um the guy that actually told me how to do it he's a good friend of mine and uh, he there is some fabrication to get your car right down there it's a little bit stress we didn't have the time at the show to do it but we'll do it on our next run. I think for now we need to maybe uh, touch up. We need to do finer touch ups. The car needs a lot of love and attention. She's old, man. This guy is old. So um, when we came for the launch, at the point when you did your, your big reveal at German vs. Jap, that all was chaotic. So we didn't even get to see what happened. So um, you want to show our audience what the big reveal actually was? The big reveal was, was the, 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 the bonnet. Uh, lift. I mean, we are having some technical, it's not easy. It's not as easy as connecting up a, a bonnet shock and making this thing work and making it go down, making it lock. There's a lot. So firstly, let me just go down. This car is power hungry. She wants battery power. So this is not a secondary battery. This is not the original battery. This is a secondary battery that we just put here. The original battery on the 3 to 5 comes out in the boot, yeah. which is there. But this car is very power hungry. Ooh. But that's what she wants to do. Now, in order to make this thing go all the way down, we still got some fabrication to do. We still got more work to do. So the engineers, the biggest problem here in our shop is how much time do guys get to spend on their own cars and customers' cars? Yeah, you, you, you obviously, your customers' cars is your bread. Right. <laughs> it puts food on the table, so you focus on that so this before guy went you even focus. So this after the show and gets part of. And then we gotta go make some money to pay the rent. Exactly. Then we gotta pay salaries. We gotta pay these lights. And then we gotta quickly bring this thing back and say, hey, we gotta respray this fender. Oh crap, when are we gonna do that? Then we so it's it's a it's it's a tough. That's tar. dope, guys. That's dope. So, so it's, it's the first time I've seen this. Honestly, I haven't seen it on any other car. You can see there um, some nice new bonnet films. So it was a complete restoration. And complete then restoration because everything is still OEM in the car in the sense of it's got its age, it's old, it's still got its uh, look and feel, it's still got parts missing. We still got to get the cover for the distributed cap. We got to get the cover here. But it's got the original radiator covers, it's got the fan cover, it's got this little guy here that's it's a little holder that gets there. It's got your original uh, light holders and covers here, uh, the intake, the airflow meter the air box, all of that is all original, right? But back in the day, for all my 90s babies, I think 90s babies, yeah. you would know what's a bro speed. Yeah. A wildcat? It's a branch. Right. It's a branch. Do you know what that is? That's an original wildcat branch. Yeah. That's literally 25 years old. Yeah. It's got the wildcat sticker. So this branch is not made by any company, but that's legit wildcat. 
I, that's something you I can't would, find. I mean, you can't find. So I wouldn't take it out. Previously, the previous owner must have just banged a, a wildcat exhaust, and he kept check this out. The original exhaust tip from 1992. So check that out. That's how they came out in that year. They had this little lip here, and it looked like this. It was angled like this. This is not an aftermarket exhaust system. This is like so. I thought I'll keep it because it actually is nostalgic to the car. You know what I'm saying? Quite nice. So um, boot set up. Boot set up still in Obviously, progress. Also um, a work in progress. But we're boasting a Rockford four gate system in here. Um, custom fabrication. I need to tell you a little bit of a story about this. So these are handmade. Uh, this is fiberglass custom mold in here. Mm -hmm. This entire mold was done to fit into five to six pieces and go in this car and come out in case of an issue. And what I like about the system, it's nimble, it's powerful, and it's clean. It mm. sounds clean and audible. In that, what we have in the back here is your ABFT system. Uh, I hard wired, um, hard lined that with Kalen to make sure that we learn how to do this ourselves as our company. So we might not be on the level of like world-class perfection, but I can tell you it was done in-house. And then obviously that uh, marble tile effect so, so, that you have there. And, and I wish I had some light here to show you guys what this is. So that's actually, yeah, a real tile. That's an Italian um, large format tile. An Italian large format tile uh, that, that has a look and feel. Let me hold my torch on there so you guys can see. See there, guys. He's customized that tile. And Initially, this, I and thought this was like marble, and it's gonna be extremely heavy. But no, it's a, yeah. And this is a the custom frame, handmade frame for the for the ABFT management. The management is sitting on a frame. You see the mesh. Yes, see the yes. mesh. This is actually hand carved, handmade, not purchased. The, the Brandon literally sat with a file and made that thing with wood, bro. For, for days and days and days. And we also hand polished this tank. We didn't buy a stainless steel tank. We hand polished that tank. Hey, so now, you guys stress can stress see P2, stress. Rockford. Uh, These are no amps. joke, uh, no joke sound system. No, I know. I, I'm I'm a big fan of Rockford. Uh, that is my preferred brand. It shows that they're not cheap. That's one thing we can say. I, I, I did go all out. I, I said, when the guy said go, we said bye. Like we said, let's do the best we can do within our budgets. But this car broke the budget. This car had no bloody budget. It kept on going up and up and up and up and up. And that's why when I got my evaluation certificate, which um, I'm scared to share on this public platform, but our evaluation certificate makes me feel proud because it makes me know that this car is truly worth its money. It's not something you can log on to Facebook and buy for 300 grand. And you didn't cut anything on the chassis and make any unnecessary changes on the car. Original, so it's still original, that, that, basically. That, that, I think that's what, that's what I like. I like the fact that uh, this car has all the original parts that came with it. And it, it was hectic because the interior was extremely destroyed. Extremely destroyed. Like, I mean, the, the dashboard was broken. The, the seats were broken, the um, steering wheel was broken, the roof was broken, the sunroof was broken, the electrical was broken, the freaking wiring didn't work. So yeah. did you use the original seats or did you procure a set of seats? Luckily, I procured a set of Recaros. So yes, I always wanted Recaros and Recaros were timed for the era. They did come out in the 3 to 5 eyes as a custom optional extra. So I had to procure the seats. It came with those normal seats. But when we did it, we put an Italian uh, Alcantara. So this is Alcantara throughout here. So that's why it's got that nice little soft Swedish feel. Yeah. We did it all the way down there. And then we took the Alcantara into the steering wheel uh, with the M stitching on it. So that's, I can definitely tell you that's a one of one E30 steering wheel. I know nobody's got an Alcantara with that Napa And leather. you've actually recovered that old thing in leather as well, put yeah. in that red thing on the top. The Napa that's leather. not what comes. Uh -uh. And then, um, and then the, 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 the other part was we also made these door pods. So these door pods, we put all the Alcantara into here. This was quite a journey. This was an extensive journey. Do you know what this was in the E30? Is that not where the, the pocket in the, the thing is? You are 5,000 correct. The, your, your cell phone would actually go in here and whatever you think, this is the pocket. So it's the exact same dimension. See the shape here? Yeah, it's, same it's, shape. We didn't alter it. 
all we did is we used the space inside, we filled it up and we put two five and a quarter Rockford inch mitts in here and we made this an Alcantara cover and we covered this here with Alcantara, put our new clips, put the door piece back together. We tried to keep it as OEM because I don't like those big bulky things. And that's also quite nice because you've actually made that, that fit also, into that was the also coming panel. Nice and coming loose there. That's something we need to go put some glue and sort that out. But so this actually is, this part here is a part that comes from um, E30 Aftermarket. Okay. You can buy this and this part can be purchased. So, and then you can put the original speaker in there, your Twitter part. So um, um, we previously uh, featured um, Car Candy Inc. on the channel. Yeah, and so I know he um, supplies a lot of parts to a lot of guys building in, in Joburg. So Did he also uh, supply some parts to you? Yes, so car candy. For first, let's give a shout out to Global Auto Coatings for the paint. I think before we go to car candy, I think this paint, this Ferrari V8, was purely done by Global Auto Coatings, meaning they mixed it, they matched it. Uh, they also came into partnership with me for the clear coat. This guy's rocking PPG. PPG meaning it's the highest standard of clear coat. So this will be a lifetime clear coat. You can park this thing in the sun, rain, hail, it ain't. Now, that's my first shout out. Second one will go to Car Candy, and I'll tell you why. Car Candy, he definitely supplied a uh, good couple things. When it comes to the front lip, let's start there. So firstly, those things, those little Twitter pods that's uh, coming loose, yeah. right? Uh, car Candy, is a, uh, this 325 IS lip, this is 325 IS lip. The, um, so you've got the IS lip plus another lip there as I got well. A, and then Car Candy also with the Alpina lip. Okay. That's an Alpina lip. Uh, this little rubber is my concept, my theory of breaking the two. Okay. So we put in a new rubber in there okay. to create a divide. Yeah, the That's black the black works nice on the radio. We no? did the black line and then that valence, so this uh, valence is original. Car Candy supplied this piece. And then this mesh grill inside is an F30 mesh grill. It's from a BMW F30. But obviously you guys customize So we cut that then, yeah, and it's a mission. This guy is low. It's getting scratched and bumped in everywhere we go. But what do we do, man? Ah, that's you know? how E30s are. You know Every E30. The whole front grill as well. Okay, not car candy for that, but he supplies all of that. And then original, uh, okay, there's, there's, there's certain parts like the water bottle supplied by car candy. Um, a so yeah, things. what did you do? You did new water bottle. What did you do to clean the engine by? I think the only thing, okay, that this story goes, goes well. Uh, we definitely stripped the whole motor up. We stripped everything. We took the motor apart, we rebuilt it. All with BMW parts. And then every single hose and part that was here was lying around, so we didn't have to replace. Okay. Everything was it. The only thing changed here is the water bottle. We put a new water bottle in here, and that's it. And then uh, when you open the Spray engine this, up, what was the condition? Did you need to she put was new turning, bearings? The rings? engine was turning. And uh, we had to put new rings, new bearings, big ends, mains, uh, pistons were so sharp. The head on this car is an original 325i head. So the head from the car was actually uh, blown. The head was blown okay. on this car, right? Because probably the O's were racing this car. Man. Back in the day, I'm sure they were doing that thing. So the head on this car, yeah, we got an original 2.5. See, this is, is 2.5. I didn't get a 2.527 because that means that's not the head for this car. Yeah. The head for this car is Was meant for this two car. Five. Correct. So we got the 2.5 head and then we had to buy an entire engine for that head. Right? And then... Um, because you can't get these heads. And yeah. then we, we know um, BMWs, all E30s have issues with power steering. How's your power steering? Perfect. Rack is good, no leaks. I'm not going to lie, we got a leak there. <laughs> yeah, that's where it is. Power there. steering fluid leak. leaks on these we guys. We got a leak on the rack. We have to send our rack in for servicing. But when it comes to making my rack work, power steering, turning, alas is nah. Motor is fine. This car also boasts an aircon. So the aircon pump has been refurbished, reconned, and put into there. The pipes have been reconned, put into the alternator, reconned, starter, reconned. We had to recon a lot of things because these are... Yeah, that's, that's rare because... Aircon's working on an E30 that yes. you don't yes, really see. Pipes, yeah? And know. often when guys rebuild these cars, they somehow take that aircon pump out. Why? And then... No, because they... they that's what I can't understand. Why do they actually... You know, uh, I think we challenged ourselves to try and fix as much as we can. And I think that's what leads to our next project and our next builds is that we want to become better. So we're going to force ourselves to see how much... Because it's easy. You know what I learned? It's easy to hide. 
It's easy to cut all the wires. Yeah. It's easy to close the pipes and it's easy to fiberglass and fill and body for. That's the quick route out. Get a lacquer fresh panel and done. But the hard work is trying to make that thing work. Can you make that old dial light come on? That was the, can you make the rev counter work? It was a stress, but we did it. We had fun. We enjoyed it. So uh, you just mentioned now that um, your neck's built. Neck's built. Yeah, I need water for this. <laughs> I need water for this. Can I have a glass of water? Right, let me have a glass of water for this. Right, because I, I, I think the, the next bulb. Yo, hello, my baby. Yeah, now guys, you see that there undercover. So, um, Mr. Big Bite, he posted this on his social media, yes. on uh, TikTok, Last and week. he asked his audience to guess what it is. Now, I obviously, being an owner of one of these, I know what it is. Guys, what do you think it is? Clearly, clearly you guys can see that shape. That shape is iconic. It is extremely iconic. My, my biggest thing was, we can build E30s, we can build certain cars. But with this particular car, it was extremely difficult to find it. This is what I learned about this type of industry. This industry was a headache. You can't find this type of car. It's, it's worse abuse than that car. I, I know you're smiling, right? You're laughing. He's laughing behind the camera. Because it's the truth. <laughs> I never experienced such a hunt for, for this particular car. I never thought that, you know what the E30 is, right? You got 318s, you got 320s with 325 bodies. Sharp. That's as far as it goes. The old, but this guy, these cars have been around the It hurts me because the fender is from another car. The headlights from another car, the engine from another car, then the owns plug, spook and plug, everything. Cutting right. holes into the backboard, putting subs in the backboard. I love <laughs> and I know Owens was hustle, right? But when I came across this, I've been hunting for about one year, non-stop, for a clean, what you're about to see now. So rip off those sheets, guys. We're going to do a thing. Reveal it. Catch it. A clean MK1, I could not find a GTI, I was lucky enough to get a GTS. What is a GTS? Let me tell you. For those of you that don't know and those of you that do know, what's a GTS? A GTS is a South African car. That's what I like about it. This is a purely South African built car. The GTS and the GT was produced in this country. They made them in 1.6s. There are some other variations. But what stands out is a 1981 original mark one small bumper carburetor it's got a uh, zenith cup in it original cup and it boasts this beautiful sexy interior and what's amazing check this out one hand that door no opened. pushing that door <laughs> opened. so i think that was the big thing okay we got our list of things that we need to work on this car it's got the original paint you know come check the surface rust on the top here yeah, that's what shows you it's original. It's got, and it's got showing all over. So look at this. You can and see all that. I was happy. That actually motivated me, uh, Sean, when I seen that. It yeah, motivated well. me because when I looked at this, I looked at the interior. I said, check the seats out. These are the GTS seats with the red and black. Now look at the door card. The first thing on a door card like this, what would the guys do? They would cut out this piece. And these, put a mud. They put a mud. <laughs> this beading will be broken. This door handle will be broken. This will be broken. What about this guy? Come on. All Mark it's 1. It's still man. there. They know this is gold. This thing works. It's still there. I can almost challenge any Mark 1 driver. Who can keep a door card in this condition? There's better cars in this. Mm. But now we're going to restore this baby. The other thing is that the steering wheel and who doesn't love these dials you've got your oil pressure gauge you your voltmeter and the flop is they cut out this thing here they put a double denier uh, so i now okay. need to search a new dashboard i need to do a new interior i need to do my restoration box but it's got the original carpet it's got check this roof lining clean eh Original, I mean, that's original. With that these black pieces see. here, yeah. and something that's absolutely gorgeous about this car is not only the paintwork, it's these beadings, it's all these little guys. They are there. It's this beading, this, uh, they will call this a, a scratch, door handle plate. The scratch, scratch plate. plate, yeah. When you open this door, do you see how easy, look at this. One right. end. Then, this beadings, 
Check the rubber. The ashtray is still there. Ooh, that's nice. The ashtray is still there. That's nostalgic, okay? That's like and that was only came on CTIs, GTIs, you know. This, hey, you know, I like the fact that you know too. This backing plate, see this plate? This, this still original. Still there. It's still there. Just the. Right? Now coming to the back here. The, what they call this, a blackout. Yeah, the, the blackout here. Yeah. This is the original blackout. You can see how worn out it is. So I'm going to restore it. The original badge. This is not the original taillights. I, I got the original taillights. Got this is the original bumper, one. original bumper, exhaust system original, and then check this baby out. Now this is gold. This dashboard has not been cut. I check mean, I've this, this backboard. The backboard. I'll raise that, guys. All Often this these backboards are cut for six by nines or mids, or they uh, just put a new backboard because obviously. I don't know where you can get this. I found VW South Africa. I'm on the line with VW Germany. I'm on the line with top companies to restore this car right now. Things like this here. You don't the, find them. What about this back speaker? There's the original speaker in there. With the yes, does that? Uh, it's like a little 6x9. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> it's a 3x6 like or it's something. like a 3x6. It looks like a 2x3. And then the water bottle for the rear. Yes, with the, with your the wiper, water bottle. Right. Wiper, washer, it's water bottle is still is there. Good. Sean, the light still works. That's another sign. What as about well. the carpet and that piece? This thing, just the with the band one at the back. So when, so when I knew that Mark ones, I know we all know Mark ones are there, right? This guy's forty-one years old, but it was worth investing into. It and that's also um, like you said earlier. You referred to a Mark one as a prostitute. It's why the why you say that is because I mean, gonna come at me, man. these guys lots of guys buy these cars and resell it and you'd find cars like these have 10 owners and by the time it gets to mr big bite it's abused no papers mm. or the owner of the car is not the owner of the car exactly whose mother is the owner of the car whose father is the owner of the car the drawer is not of the car this handle is not okay this is a fake handle by the way this yeah handle, that's not of the car. This, and there's lies, man. This car's got a history of lies in them. Like the Owens don't want to tell the truth about their Mark ones. Because I've been on Marketplace for the last um, year. Everyone is going through. There's a few nice Mark ones left. And they're going for ridiculous prices. So I think, uh, Sean, you know, Skidmart. You said you own the Mark one. Yeah, CTI. <laughs> Where is it? Sold it. Should have never. <laughs> yeah, the what we have here is a super rare, extremely valuable, iconic South African. Can I show you something on my phone? Yeah, definitely. Can they see that? Yeah. Can everybody see that? Okay. So this is the original advert for the GTS when it was reached, uh, released those years. And they used to say 100 in 3.5 seconds. They meant 100 to zero. Yeah. <laughs> so they meant braking power. This had the best braking system introduced at that time uh, the gti's and the gts's gt's so it could break in 3.4 seconds from 100 k's not only that this car here a uh, golf gts i had a 1.6 liter overhead cam engine blast you from 0 to 100 in 11.8 seconds that was a lot in those years 11.8 seconds now this advert is the guy spinning can you see spinning yes yes so i'm gonna reenact this exact same advert on this car so yeah. once the car's done, yes, we're gonna shoot it, it and gonna, make it, and we're gonna give it to VW as a gift, and then we're gonna go park this at the VW dealership, and we're going to do a raffle for this car, so you can actually win this car. Wow! So we're gonna raffle out this car, and people will actually be able to win this car for just entering, and we're gonna give certain proportions to a certain funds. So what is your target for this car? When you mean target, like uh, obviously. It's when when are you gonna have it done okay good question if we can be ready for love more event in pe okay uh that's december how many months we got boys september october november december four, they got four months. months they got four months from the time the m4 comes out there's an m4 in the back that's leaving next week they got that goal seven and then there's another project car coming another an m3 we're gonna do a very rare e92 uh we're gonna do a full banging gts building so I don't know how the guys are going to build a GTS and this GTS in the same time. My, they both GTS, GTS. Yeah, yeah how odd is that? Mark for GTS and we're going to... My thing is, um, 
if they can get it done by December, I would love for this and this car to do a full blown shootout. But obviously, you've got a very capable team. The guys behind the scenes there. Yeah, uh, I got top detailers. I got come to the workshop. I mean, uh, Brandon. So this is a clean okay, workshop, guys. We're going into the detailing got, workshop. Uh, Madala, Madala. So what I have here is I have a very really great beam actor. So now, Kalen, Madala, yes, come here. Come say, come say hi. You know, there's more guys that's not here. It's actually a quiet day today. The guys of Brandon is our head fabricator, master workman builder, engine builder. Uh, he can build and break anything. How's that? <laughs> but what can you do, cuz? Break and build. You are calling cuz. This is my family. My blood in, blood out. I'm proud. This is all my family. This is Raul, and he's a young, motivated, energetic, super jumpy, hoppy, skippy <laughs> type of chap that's permanently on ADHD tablets. But I tell you one thing: you kind of need that blood in the shop. He's a he's a he's a chili bike. He's an all-round detailer. He understands my vision. He's a vision follower, and that's why he's successful. He gets the work done. That man is a top polisher. He's a detailer, he's a fabricator, he's uh, more in the panel industry, but he loves detailing, flatting, polishing. There's our painter, Madala, say hi. Hi. So David, we call him Madala. He's actually very young. He's about 77 years old. <laughs> now, how, Madala, you 77 or 76? Ah, uh, 85. <laughs> 85. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's got a hand, he's got a golden hand. He can spray, and you can see he's flatting this car. We're prepping this car for spray. So we built this car with Brandon. The, this car has been like seriously damaged and I'm very proud of my team. I mean, you see M4s at BMW workshops, right? Hey, you know, it's funny you mentioned a picture, right? Of the MEX. I drew that picture before the car was built. Man. Pretty sure. It's funny how I drew this car before this car was bought. So there it's you go, funny. guys. That's the pic that Wait, Mr. Big did, Bite spoke about. Did you hear what this man said? So he drew all these things here. He drew all of these things. And this is like our inspiration to build. So we have an M3, we have uh, the 3 to 5, and now check here. I drew this months ago. The GTI, but yeah, it's got to be a GTS. X. Yeah. Hey, but, but, but this thing looks nice, man. Where we can find So you, uh, you uh, were chub foos in the shop? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this thing looks nicer. Let's do it all. Yeah, you know, if I could find a GTI, uh, we would have. Uh -huh. we, we, we can't find and the GTIs we're finding the problem are all bad condition no they're lying man and they fake yeah they fake no stop lying they to fake. me I'm not dumb Brandon really don't lie to us what the people, people are lying on Facebook 100% they, they don't have GTIs they don't have GTIs do you know why we know what we have here it's because me and this man every day I'm on Facebook marketplace we know every where to hunt for cars we know it's hard so if you do have a GTI my advice is do what fuck it and fuck it off forget about it and then uh, this young man here. Yeah. Flady, Flady, Flady Action Nitus. This is Flady, Flady Action Nitus. Flady is our all round caretaker. He looks after the place. He cleans up, makes sure that our day is ready. We are, he's in charge of all the tools, the workshop, all this water here. And without Flady, we can't get things done. We appreciate you. He also looks after me at home and he's, uh, he's, a, he's a top guy. He's my blood. We got oh, some other sir. ladies here as well. We can go check them on that side. Yeah, let's let's go in. We spoke about the family element of the business. <laughs> We're now going to enter Thrive. So we have Thrive here, we have the Simos bar, and on this side here, hello ladies. Hello. So I must say this component to the business. It's the pretty side. It's the pretty side. Not only is the owner pretty, but so is our brand pretty. Mrs. Bibi, how are you? Mrs. Big Bite, say hi to the Skin Marks audience. Hi. So, hi uh, um, I know Mrs. Big Bite because my wife watches her on TikTok all the time. I actually uh, knew her before I, I met uh, <laughs> Mr. Big Bite. No, see this. <laughs> so, um, tell us more about uh, the beauty bar you and the uh, smoothie bar. Okay, so we created this space for the lovely ladies so that they could be confident when they came in here and they wanted to see the products. And all these products are herbal products that can help you with almost every type of 
ailment that you can think about. And then we created furthermore a smoothie bar, but not any smoothie bar, a CMOS smoothie bar, so that you can enjoy our product in a good tasting smoothie, so that you're not scared of it. Because people on the internet like to lick that it's ugly, but it's not ugly. Yeah. And I mean, one thing that I must say, when I watch Mrs. Big Bite grow from stem to stem, she started off, this is her own product edge. Yes. A very own product edge. Oh, that she started off with one. We started off with this one, which was aloe glow, because I, I had like horrible acne. I could never clear my skin and nothing worked for me. So I developed this with a very high-end lab to get this so that your skin could glow. And then from there, everything else just burst. So just now we're selling with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of our own products. So then the CMOS started kicking up. Now, Nozzy, how are you? <laughs> Okay, how are you? This is the, the, I said this is the family part of it. And uh, Nozzy started with Mrs. BB. Uh, well, she brought her in that time when her online business was running. And I must see. Well, actually, I, you brought Nozzy in. I brought Nozzy in. Eh? Yeah, I'm the recruiter. <laughs> I brought Nozzy in three and a half years ago. Around about this time. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that was just going oh. down. And we had literally two people with us. Nothing and we're starting at the bottom. Yeah. So uh, you've got some HR skills as well, not only <laughs> daily. <laughs> I'm saying God has blessed me with that gift. I actually love HR, jokes aside. But um, Noz, yeah, Noz came on, on board and she stayed. And today, like when we counted, we, we 12. we 12 people in total. Like I know we're not uh, we're like super big, mm -hmm. but for us that's extremely she's big. Starting back from the Starting from nothing and, and they built this entire brand. This this CMOS brand. Nozi, what is CMOS? Tell them. Okay. What, what is these two things that you and Misha are rocking the world with? And then <laughs> Jessica is going to tell you all about the bar. Okay, so CMOS is an organic superfood from the ocean. Exactly. It's got 92 vitamins and minerals which are good for your body. Our body is supposed to take 102, so it's just 10 shy. I mean, if you just take this for the day, you sort it. We've got two flavors and one coming up. Shh, don't tell the people. Um, this is our ginger and turmeric version and this is our original one so you pick which one you like they both do the same thing this one's really good for your skin and your immune system this one's more for your weight loss and if you've got any like sugar diabetes it's really good for that so you pick which one you like yeah, I know my wife actually came through last month and bought this because she was just like, no, Mrs. Big Bites on the CMOS. Yes, and um, yes. I think I actually got to get a container for her because she's fresh out and she really loves it. Eh? It's a good thing. It's really good for you. She said, oh, once it was finished, she just said that her body doesn't feel the same exactly, anymore. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so there was a day we were on the train. We were going to a Fabiani event. And uh, yo, that's another brand that we, that we have approved. I, I'm so grateful that they invited me for their launch and they finally placed me gave me because I've been sporting that brand for seven years. Seven years. To the point that my staff gave Fabiani gifts. Can you show? <laughs> no, Var, that's, that's his work clothes, boss. Tell him, is that your work clothes? Tell him straight, that's his work clothes. VW Carlo. That's his thing. He's smart. And um, we were going to the Fabi event and we were chatting, she was sitting there together and she said, No, you didn't want me to sit next to you. Tell the truth. He's just child friendly. <laughs> you know, no, I didn't want to sit, I wanted my space. I thought I'm on a train. I want to look out my window mm -hmm. and experience my moment with the train. So I So I went to that side and the train was passing the inner part of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. I he was looking outside mm -hmm. to them. And I sat there and I said, Dear God, please can you show me where is my business going next? What do I want? I want to keep helping people. I want to make it fun. I want to help me. I don't want to become complacent. Because in business, you can become and complacent. And then I said to him, I'm going to open up the first CMOS smoothie by an essay. And she did it. And I did it. And today, I have uh, my own brand called Thrive, The Balanced Life. So meet Jess. Jess, hello. So Jessica, tell us what is Thrive the Balanced Life? So Thrive the Balanced Life is an extension of the CMOS brand, of course, where we've incorporated CMOS into smoothies. As you can see, we have a range of four smoothies. You? Our unique one is the Cherry Moss, of No, course. because I'm sure that's because you had your hand in that, eh? 
everyone can. Definitely, definitely all of these were hand-picked, tasted, tested, changed by Misha and the team. And yeah, if you can't take the taste of CMOS, and then they created these little shots. Yes. Yeah, I see the I, flu I, I bomb. I love that. These little shots, this happy skin, and I, I mean that I'm, I smell the flu bomb. Yeah, the flu bomb is a, is a good immune booster, basically. All the, the so, so, wait, I think we need to, which one are you going to try? Berry flame, mango, cherry moss, or mandarin plaster? Berry? <laughs> yeah, let's go for berry. Berry? <laughs> okay, berry, one berry coming up. So why don't you just get that? Um, this is the family incorporated part of the business because I believe that Big Bite is bigger than just doing cars. We, Misha and I wanted a lifestyle. We wanted people to come spend the day with us. Like literally there's a table, there's a chair, come and sit here, stay focused, spend time with Misha, spend time with Rosie, spend time with Laura, and spend time with our government. One the low chin hits. <laughs> you just gotta love it. I mean, you just gotta love it. Do you wanna switch our genio? I think the reason why I chose Thrive is because I've had a season in my life where I want to share where I am thriving. And I want to share that with the world. That I'm thriving in business, I'm thriving in my marriage, I'm thriving with my kids, I'm thriving in motherhood. And I want to share that with others. Because you can balance your life. Because a lot of people think once you get married, once you have kids, life is over. And it does not get paid. You can be everything you want to be as long as you have that balanced life. Forgot to tell them that you're thriving on social media too, eh? Uh, am I? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go to our podcast area. So this is also a big private uh, This is a private room that we created for uh, selected influencers, uh, podcast influencers, or people that want to be part of our content our creation, brand. our brand. And we said, take a bite with Big Bite. So you get to sit on the hot seat, and you get to sit there, and we want to dissect your life, or dissect things, and we want to chat. And this is where we launched our whole podcast. So that's going to be out by next week. Yeah. I mean, every time we bring a lot of effort and energy, but this is the setup of the So, uh, are you guys gonna be on the podcast together or? So, <laughs> no, guys, there was a lot of time before we got to this, but yes, we are going to be doing a We did, we worked, so we dissecting topics together. So family, automotive, beauty, fun, friends, baby. That's okay. And we're giving each other also the space to have it at home. So you can still be watching to meet someone in the car industry, invite them over and yeah, you know. And likewise, we invite people online. If you want to be part of our podcast or you want to feature with us, you can come and sit here and Mrs. BB, but we will be selecting because we want to promote brands, businesses, positivity, positivity motivation, 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 you know, 100%. We believe that this is now a platform. So eventually, Sean, I think this is going to build up to a radio station. This is going to build up to a TV station. And lastly, we, we I, I smell it and I confess it in the name of Jesus that I see also Netflix, a reality show, keeping up with the big bites. Straight up. The bigger big bang. <laughs> so you get to know how much yeah. stress this woman does give me. Or can I rather say how much stress I give you? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just saying that the person who always says the other person is giving stress is the problem. Is the problem. How is my problem? But yeah, I think, you know, we just want to invite people out. We're choosing to go the podcast route because it can get very heated on social media. To have these views and these open discussions, and we want to create a space environment, a safe environment where we can have controversial topics, where we can have heated topics, where we can share the truth, the unfolded, unedited part of what you don't get to see on social media. That's coming out. So it's like, can you see this journey? She's got brands, I've got the source, we've got the detailing center, we've got car restoration, we've got the beauty section, we've and, got I, and I really do want to own a food truck one day. Food truck. 
smoothie bar, uh, property company, big bike properties investments, big bike dealership. Definitely there's gonna be a dealership. That's gonna be headed up by that young man behind me. But we're looking, there's so many ways to grow this entity. We just wanna employ people. Spot on. That's where it is. The bottom line is we wanna create employment. We wanna share this pie with everybody. Yes. Everybody gets to take a bite because we have realized that in life, there's so much opportunity, but there's enough for everybody. And, and we can do that that's through. The most important that's thing. been my number one vision back then, Mish. Back then, HR, employment. I mean, as I say, I can show you a picture of just three of us and then the team is that big. And I then nothing. And then back up again. And the important thing is that we together, everybody goes up with us. What you say, bro? Yeah, it's, it's a real plan, eh? It's uh, podcasts are really trending now, so you're jumping on a trend, and it's. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed on YouTube that they have a podcast tab now. Okay. So yes. you gotta make sure that you get on the bus first, yes. okay. and then obviously you're gonna have a good journey. It's don't as don't forget, don't forget, check out that YouTube tab, Thank guys. You for that. There's a YouTube podcast tab now, and they're actually pushing podcasts from YouTube onto Google Discover. So. And you know, uh, I've been... What do people call you? Sean. <laughs> Sean or Skid Marks? I, everybody calls me Skid Marks. I, everywhere I, I go, oh, Skid Marks. I can't on my phone to ask. Skid Marks is, is huge, but the brief or Skid Marks? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know, what is a Skid Marks? So, uh, for me, I obviously started this with spinning. Oh, I knew it was cars. I started with to... spinning. So, when I thought about cars... And anything automotive, what is the one thing that anything automotive with wheels can do? Can leave skid marks behind. And that's where the name came from. Awesome. Anything to do with cars, skid marks, motorbikes can leave skid marks, trucks can leave skid marks. So I see I see the guys, you know, I must give a big shout out to, to you from the big bites. I mean we we've seen you grow from strength to strength. And your content and your your uh, podcast, you know, you're the only guy that can run a 30, 40, 50 minute video that can get 15,000 views. I don't know how, bro. No, sorry, can I correct you? Yeah. He's the only man that can stand by and hold on the side of the road and go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to that. This <laughs> is where we are right now. I know you love it, bro. Let me tell you. Got your attention, you left everything. You want to listen to <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, we, we appreciate it. Please uh, check out our YouTube channel. Definitely. So, yeah. where, am, where can the guys subscribe? So, my YouTube channel is actually booming because I see I'm dropping a lot. It's Mr. Big Bang. It's easy. Mr. All our, all, all our social handles, every platform. Mr. 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 Big Bang. You can go and check us out. I got regular content. So, my TikTok is more. Uh, like short and related to what's happening current but my YouTube is real it's detail in-depth. it's the in-depth it's what the guys are talking about it's us laughing joking working it's the real 15 minute reality show and then my shorts and then Instagram being the big I think the Instagram was stolen by that E30 people just smug and come. they love it so um, if people want to pull through to the shop come get the smoothie or um, come get some CMOS gel or get their car detailed yeah. Where do they come? So you come to number 270 Columbine Avenue. We're open from half past 8 to half past 5, Monday to Friday. Saturday from 9 to 1. We'll be here. We're ready to service you guys. Now we chose a specific spot like Mondio because we feel it's a central highway location. Meaning the M1 Highway Gold City is right here. And you can come down to the place. And then the N17 or the N12 is right here from the Glen. You can come in. And then your Soweto Highway, your N1. You can't miss it because it's right opposite. I mean, we're right here, we're in a central location. And can I say proudly, we represent the south of Joburg. I believe the south of Joburg has a lot of value and positivity, and it's really doing well. So we represent. That's why all the mines are on this side of the All the Zamas, Zamas. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's your personalized wedding suit, Skidmark, for me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. There we oh. go, guys. Got my name mm-hmm. on. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy this berry and sea moss. Uh, Berry is my favorite flavor, guys. But uh, Mr. Big Bite likes the the flu shot. Yeah. Uh, What do you recommend? 
the man, the man glow so that's gonna make your skin glow guys <laughs> <laughs> guys thank you so much for having me at your shop for inviting me no, i appreciate it so much you know that's something that i love doing on the channel is giving a businesses plugs especially businesses in the motorsport industry because that's my thing like you guys heard where's the name of skid marks came from anything to do with cars and you know it's all about family and that is why we're plugging muscles big by two please come to have a smoothie guys please 270 columbine drive it's under ball breakers opposite the dust cam guys pull through <laughs> come get your smoothie <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> And uh, we're definitely coming back to come and see the progress on that call. We're going to follow that goal. Right. So as okay. soon as there's we'll some progress, please invite us through Skid Marks wants to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Shot guys. Bless you guys. Cheers. Yeah.